So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope Olga persuades all those guys to leave. And leaves herself. You alive there? Huh? What the hell? God damn! This! Artyom! Get out of there! Shit! an enormous beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. Olga! I told you people. They just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like... Like children, I guess! Even though they look like beasts, those pioneers, huh? Ah, she'll handle them all right! You guys really had us worried there. Anna is in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. 
Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. He's old guys there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. <coughs> Artyom, you know when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew, for some reason, that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Artyom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying, then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this. I have the scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? We'll fix her too. As soon as we find the medicine, she'll start getting better. How oh, Yosha here? I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. I We did examine the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be damaged. How Tomorrow, is she? Well, we have new start, and it seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time, so no Take wonder. a seat, Bratucha. Boy, this conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. 
Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we are wrong. It? The legend says, irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost Damn, as high as back there. in Moscow. A cadmium warhead? Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably... So what do we do now? Doctor. I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go no, together. Now, no, no, right. please. First, she is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand, mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Akadem Gorodok labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That reminds him, please. huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen. Your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been through. <sighs> Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, your Mac does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. from radiation exposure in Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they are going to face. Nah, these people don't really care about risks. You know them well enough. Hey, tell me about that museum. I... Uh, when did you learn about it? Ah, well, I was always a railroad fan, even when working in the metro. We had this experimental facility near Moscow where they, they tested all kinds of railway stuff. And lots of engines and cars ended up there, so they decided to make a museum. But only found a good spot in Novosibirsk. Wow! 
Drenogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor, unlike me. Katya, believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Alyosha. I hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be extremely unfortunate. That gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were naive. But even the valley in the end. Yes, air, water, in the forest. It's all there. But I'm afraid not for long. Pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We find some common ground. So, Bratucha, up for a smoke, I see. I remember if I already told you about this. <coughs> Read about the kind of people I would meet. And that the further I go, the less people were good. I've told this story before, but I'd like you to listen. You see, I have this total red pistol. They fail to Is the dam in such danger? It is. But even if it could hold out for years more, a third of the valley is already polluted with radiation. All the fallout was accumulating at the bottom of the reservoir for years and years.
Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. Sibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged, too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we'd better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artyom? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Uh, I'm at it. Stefan! Christ, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good luck. Good luck. until Artyom and I come back. Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy mission acknowledged. Goodbye, Uncle Artyom. Don't worry about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. Hush, shh. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes, I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now.
Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Anna is strong. She will win this fight. Just make sure you come back. Good luck, Artyom. Your gear, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Saddle up. You keep overwatch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. All those carriages stuck here. A failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. All right, walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. So, how do you find the road to your dream? Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artyom. We can handle this. I think we can get out through there! Hold on! We're definitely not entering the metro through here. And too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. This road should get us to the city center. Take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. 
weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Damn. All right, okay. Turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Try the corridor on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. The weather's still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. There. That way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! It seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it. I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk from here. And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. The tilters won't last long. Come on! Let's go! We have to move or we're done for! We're approaching a large intersection! The station entrance should be right past it! Watch out! The snow is deep! Finally here! Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm, that's what I call a cave -in. Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Through the carriage! I'll help you open that! Let's do this! for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The Metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. <sighs> <sighs> the tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable! Ah, mutants again! Going to have a go at us? Let them try, I say.
The straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. these things even eat here? Not people, that's for sure. Something useful. 